God, they revealed it. The Xbox Game Showcase airs on June 9th, followed by Call of Duty Direct. Dude, I got bamboozled. I got so hooked up on the orange. <laughs> I really thought it was State of Decay 3. I really went, oh man, there's the orange. It's got to be State of Decay. And then you're like, dude, it's, X it's Call of Duty. I went, oh, you're so right. <laughs> 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 this article goes from Tom Warren over at The Verge. Microsoft is officially holding its big Xbox Summer Showcase on June 9th, as The Verge reported earlier this month. The showcase will air on Sunday, June 9th at 10 a.m. PT, 1 p.m. ET, or 6 p.m. UK time, depending on your transformation around the world. And will include a deep dive into the next installment of Call of Duty after the main show. Last year, you may recall the Starfield Direct. This year, it's the Call of Duty Direct. Interesting, Scott. Well, in either case, that gets it out of the way of the main show. So now we know at least the main show has, uh, well, no Call of Duty. Yeah, absolutely. Microsoft is only teasing the Call of Duty Direct as, quote, the next installment of a beloved franchise, end quote. But sources familiar with the company's plans tell me that that is indeed Call of Duty. <laughs> this would be the first Xbox showcase featuring games across Activision Blizzard, Bethesda, and Microsoft's Xbox Game Studios. I understand Microsoft is currently planning to announce a new Gears of War game. Thank you. Yes. Cannot wait, dude. I have huge hopes for this one after coming off of 5. Loving 5. Where are you at with Gears of War? Oh, I'm really hoping that this is a solid Gears of War 6. <clears throat> I just had the strange thought come to mind. What if it's Gears of War or War? Like Halo Wars? Or some other mm. sort of genre-shifted Gears where... What? We've, I don't know if Gears of War has ever really explored uh, outside of its own little box there. But did Gears Tactics? Dude, Gears Tactics was a fantastic there was tactics game. Yeah, yeah, that was a great game too. I had a ton of. That's fun one I often forget about, which is oh. unfortunate because I've heard it's really good. <laughs> it's it is fantastic. But the showcase will also include a number of release dates for upcoming Xbox games like Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. It'd be weird if it got delayed to 2025, wouldn't it? It'd Avowed. Be <laughs> It'd be awkward. <laughs> yeah, very awkward. Avowed and Indiana Jones in the Great Circle will likely get a date on when the big Shattered Space expansion is coming to Starfield, which I uh, ironically jumped back into yesterday and <laughs> immediately felt lost. Dude, like I'm completely <laughs> out of my element. I'm like, I've been away for so long. I have no idea what I'm doing, how to do it, or why my companion is mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's how I felt immediately out of the gates in that game. <laughs> Dude, I, she's like, don't talk to me. Uh, uh oh. How do they end this uh -oh. off? <laughs> I was like, this didn't go well, apparently. <laughs> I, she was not happy. <laughs> Maybe it was way. one of those captains you uh, crept onto their ship and <laughs> murdered. She didn't feel so good about it. Yeah, I don't know if I told her I didn't want to be together anymore. I can't remember. But yeah, it didn't go well. <laughs> she doesn't, yeah, she doesn't want to talk to me. Don't talk to me right now. I'm not in the mood for this. I was like, Oh, man, where did I leave off with this game? It's been so long. But either way, Todd Howard recently revealed his due in the fall, and I understand Bethesda is currently targeting September. Activision is targeting the next Call of Duty for late October, with the vowed and Microsoft Flight Simulator in 2024 likely to follow in November, and Indiana Jones in December. Dude, it is just like, bang, bang, bang. Here they come, right? They're just about to drop all these heavy hitters in a matter of months, like one after the other. Microsoft is supposed to have a lot of games to show this year, more than the 2023 showcase. We should expect to hear how the 2025 lineup is looking with some launch dates for some anticipated Xbox games. Dude, high hopes this year for a excellent <coughs> showcase. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, launch, launch dates for some highly anticipated Xbox games. Does that include Gears of War? That's where my mind goes. That must be a Gears of War release date or perhaps State of Decay. You might not be too far off the mark there. <laughs> I wonder... So here's here's the thing. I expected to get... Like, we had a showcase this year for Xbox, right? Where we saw that. We saw Hellblade Senua's Saga 2. And that one, we did get a release date. But everything else they showed, like Indiana Jones, there was no date. They held it back for this event. Okay, you're getting it this year. That's all they told us. They just gave us a window of 2024. Which then also gave them the opportunity to say, hey... Actually, we're going to push this to 2025. But it sounds like it's pretty concrete that it is coming in 2024. It sounds like they've got a great lineup, right? Coming in here. We're starting off this month with Hellblade. 
Hellblade 2 is just around the corner. It's at the end of the month. And then it kicks into Summer Game Fest, which then is going to kick into everything else that's about to follow. Dude, they're coming in with a huge fall lineup, like a massive fall lineup. They're moving out of the way for Star Wars Outlaws, which is in August, but that's right at the end of August. So again, it's still yeah. right into the same space of the fall era, right? So it is Call of Duty. It is Microsoft's Flight Simulator, Avowed, Indiana Jones, Starfield. Starfield being in September makes a lot of sense. It is a one year anniversary, so they line it up for then. Then cool. Gears of War, I think, kicks off 2025. Which is then followed up by Fable, followed up by Perfect Dark, and State of Decay 3. Dude, those are four oh, massive titles. <clears throat> yeah, Perfect Dark is something that I'm really looking yeah. forward to. <clears throat> and I hope to get just any idea of when that's coming out. <laughs> yeah, I do find it interesting, too, that Call of Duty this year will have the take the showcase floor for the Direct, right? So after last year's showcase, it was then followed up by the Starfield Direct, which gave us a ton of info, which was much needed to actually get a better understanding of what was happening in the world of Starfield. But Call of Duty is just Call of Duty. Like, is this something that you're even... Is this on your radar, the next Call of Duty? Or are you just like, add some more Call of Duty, I'll play it, and then I'll bounce? Yeah, I sort of just kind of let it slip away. Like, I've played yeah. so much Call of Duty now that I know what to expect, and unless they're really going to show me something that's going to shock everybody in the room, I'm not really that uh, open to it i'm yeah. excited for it in terms of it's just more call of duty but yeah <clears throat> sure I'll, I'll bounce in have a good time and then i'm more there for the story at all yeah. right like not the multiplayer i'm hoping for the black ops side of it like I, I really love the black ops i think those stories are fantastic so i'll jump in have a good time and bounce out i don't think we get another call of duty direct next year to follow the showcase before yeah. before activision blizzard joined microsoft they'd always have their own, here's the big event, the big reveal for the next Call of Duty game, right? This year, lines Xbox up to go, hey, here we come. For the first time ever, Activision Blizzard, Bethesda, Microsoft Game Studios, Xbox Game Studios are all under one umbrella. Here we come. Dude, and they're, like, they're huge now. When you take a look at what's lined up this year for PlayStation, you're going, PlayStation, what do you guys got? Because you're 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 done right like <laughs> I, I don't want to call them out because i don't want to say that they're finished i'm sure they got stuff in the bank that they're just we'll wait for xbox to do their <laughs> thing because there's always this okay xbox is done we'll follow up with this and then we'll follow up with that but when we look ahead for playstation or the rest of 2024 dude i don't know why i'm turning my playstation on like you know what i mean Ooh. Yeah, there needs to be something to kind of look forward to in the realm of PlayStation. You know yeah. they will come back with all those, Absolutely. those leading edge IPs, <laughs> but it's just going to be a little while. We don't know when. Yeah. In terms of Xbox, I'm thinking, of, is there going to be more Starfield expansions, do you think? Uh, do you think they really show that off if there is those planned? Or do you think this is kind of, Bethesda goes a little quiet uh, and they talk about how great Fallout is as a TV show, but that's it. Well, yeah, I think there's some recognition there given to Fallout, just with the huge success of the show, the big insurgents now players on Fallout 4, Fallout 76, other past Fallout titles, man. Fallout is just all the rage right now following the show for the first time ever. Like, our buddy Steve from the show is now playing Fallout 4. Never played it ever. Watched the show. He's like, I'm playing it now, right? And, it, and it's worked. I think this is fantastic. The same thing happened when The Last of Us came around. So I think we might get a little bit here, follow something at the showcase. But I think they have a long roadmap, I believe, for Starfield. But I think it's all about Shattered Space and nothing yeah. else. I don't think we hear what else is coming. I think they just want you to focus on, hey, here's the big expansion you've been waiting for. We're getting an expansion or an update this week. It was funny. So I bounced into Starfield last night. I went, uh, I know there's an update coming this week. I'm just going to wait. <laughs> Once the update <laughs> hits, then I'll play come back in and figure out why my companion's mad at me and then move on but <laughs> it, uh, restart a new character that's no, what you gotta no, do every Bethesda uh, game I'm not doing man after 80 <laughs> hours I am not starting over not a chance not for me but it is uh I think we're in a huge year for Xbox right I think it is a massive year for Xbox and then I think the momentum if you figure you figure Indiana Jones comes in December we take January off February is Gears of War, followed by Fable, followed by Perfect Dark, followed by State of Decay 3, and then whatever else. I think this showcase gives us 
the insight to next year with Fable, Perfect Dark, State of Decay. I think those games will be present. I think they need to be. I think they absolutely need to be there. And then all the stuff we're getting this year, plus all the where's the surprises like a Hi-Fi Rush. Yeah, I'm I'm wondering if they're going to be any sort of stealth drops surprise like that because yeah. Hi-Fi Rush was such a swing out of the park that way. But I'm absolutely. wondering, do you think we're going to see some hardware? Uh, well, there's <clears throat> oh man, maybe. I think that would be the perfect time to show your Xbox portal, whatever yeah, they're going to call it, right? Your Series Go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The handheld Xbox has been heavily rumored, right? And then get into that because I, you know, I'd be so down for one of those. Right now, I'm playing on my Logitech uh, G Cloud device so I can play on my PC, and I love it. And I'm living in the world with no rest for the wicked, which for the first time in a very long time, I didn't jump into last night. I was just too tired. But it was one of those things. It's just like, man, to play on the go is such a huge part of my library right now is my gaming time is to be able to go, okay, well, I don't feel like going down there or somebody else is on my TV and I'm just going to tap in and play that way. So I'm playing, hey, I'm probably playing 30% of my time now is handheld mode versus. Oh, wow. That's it, it's a lot, right? It's an entirely alien world to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm anxious to see what they line up. I think this year is the year of the Xbox. I think it has to be. With the quiet times for PlayStation, I think this is where Xbox blows it open. Scott, can they get a game in the year? Oh, please, for once. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But we'll find out. We'll keep you all up to date, too, from everything PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo over at ITGTV.com.